بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين اما بعد The era we are moving in has opened the space room for manipulation of information without people really realizing the consequences It is not the data that is being exploited it is people that are being exploited the medan the field is humanity and every person in his own mental capacity presumes he is fine it is okay there is nothing to it wake up and smell the coffee arguing that you don't care about the right to privacy because you have nothing to hide is no different than saying you don't care about free speech because you've got nothing to say it's not about nothing to hide it's what they can gain and what you can lose we should have no clue so something has to be done we have to implement steps we have to change our strategy it may cost money for example home security you're going to get an expert is going to come in evaluate your systems put in firewalls upgrade hardware and a whole list to make sure you are not compromised so that's why somebody said it used to be very expensive to make things public and cheap to make them private now it's expensive to make things private and cheap to make them public so this mindset we need to change one is the privacy second is technology which is there to program the minds of humanity like how on a computer software is downloaded it is programmed and the computer is programmed to do exactly what it is instructed in the long term humanity is been programmed so firstly we have become attached then reliant and now committed so much commitment that one is in anticipation for more and more and more advancement and that's where the next step comes in of transhumanism so between transhumanism and the progress matter this whole world of uh, integration with humans to machines that's the final frontier where they want to take people to so you become a machine you 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 bound it will control you so the mindset of not engaging not being a slave to this technology to these platforms to these systems the bait is there are you going to bite it but once you bite it you no turning back so the tani rahmatullah alayhi used to explain the sensitivity of every gaze the consequences of our company generally people spend more time with their phones their laptops the TVs the screens in a day than they spend with the family in a month some people in a year even when you suppose that you are family you're not there with them but you on your phone your heart and mind is somewhere else there's no dedicated time to do anything properly besides online unfortunately so montani explaining this point said i heard hazrat haji sahab rahmatullah alayhi that a certain pious person was doing muraqaba divine meditation and it so happened at that point in time when he was in muraqaba a dog passed by and his gaze fell on this dog so the effect of it was such that wherever this dog went after that day the other dogs would be attracted to it and circle around it so hazrat explained and said if as if this dog now became a sheikh all the other dogs so if a, if a, if if a pious person's nazar 
can fall on an animal and how much baraka imagine if insan the human being spends time in the company of the pious the ulama rabbaniyin the ulama haq what effect it can have so think about it. This is our Mashaykh talking about Sahaba, the Rajulu ala Dini Khalili, whoever is your friend, is will become like that. The friend of today is the cell phone, is social media, is the internet, is technology. That's the friend, that's the Sahaba, that's the company, that's the advices, that's the propaganda, that's the mechanism which people are affiliating to. So we need to make Tawbah, we need to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we need to uh, change our routine, our habits, our allegiance to technology and addiction. So what we need is a change and the door of change is always open. How much expectations you have of me? So it may seem impossible, a person's deep down in the hole, there's no hope, he's lost, no support, no structure, no escape, death in front of him, have hope in Allah. No matter how deep the hole is, have hope in Allah. It's like a man walked into a florist and said, you know what, I need some flowers. Actually, I need a lot of flowers. So, storekeeper said, okay, what do you have in mind? Or anything particular that you want? Well, I'm not sure, I don't know, I just, I just need a lot of flowers. So, the florist said, uh, what have you done wrong? Exactly, tell me, and I'll tell you how to patch it up. So, knowing where we are, knowing where we need to go, and we know, know what to do. But we have to consult with people, the Ahlullah, the ulama haq to make a change. Go in tabliq. Jamaats are leaving all the time. Shab Guzari, three days, 40 days, four months. These are all the advisors of deen. So we're in that era now. And uh, eavesdropping, these are instruments of eavesdropping. So previously people used to do that, now the machines are doing it. But on, on, on a mega scale, it was one on one that time, not one to a hundred or one to a million. One post, it's gone global, it's gone viral. So speaking about tahas wala tahassasu, tahassus, Imam Nawi rahimullah has mentioned that tahassus, which is eavesdropping, means listening to other people's conversation al istimali hadith al qawm just listening but tajassus bijim al ba'ath an al awrat it is seeking out their faults some other scholars have said bil jim at tajassus at taftish an bawatin al umur looking for secrets, you want to expose, you want to find something. This word is used in the sense for evil. So Al-Jasus Sahibu Sidishr, a person who is seeking secrets for evil purposes. There's another word in Arabic, Namus, is a person who is a seeker of secrets for good purposes. So one is seeking secrets for the wrong reasons and one is seeking secrets for the right reasons. So other ulama have said, وَبِلْ جِيمْ أَنْ تَتْلُبَهُ لِغَيْرِكْ So Tajassus is looking for me information for someone else. وَبِلْ حَا أَنْ تَتْلُبَهُ لِنَفْسِكْ the Hasus is looking for information for oneself. Likewise, other scholars have said that no, its 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 meaning is the same, seeking out information about people. So the riwayah of Bukhari explains 
ذات من تعلم بعلم لم يره كلف أن يأقد بين الشعيرتين ولا يفعل speaks of a dream that he did not see it will be ordered to tie two grains of barley together and he will not be able to do so ولا يفعل ومن استمع إلى حديث قوم وهم له كارهون Whoever listens on to other people's conversation when they do not like it. What's the punishment? Subba fi udhunihi al-anuk yawm al-qiyama. Molten lead will be poured into his ears. On a day of qiyama, wa man sawwara suratan uzziba, who makes an image, will be punished. So we see nowadays, Yad, the Nabi alayhi salam has said, speaks of a dream he did not actually see. He said something and it's not like that. Nowadays, social media is like that. Where what's not reality? People say, speak lies to, to um, promote themselves. They put pictures which of items which they don't own. They make scenes which are not real. They, they manipulate things. So... This hadith has mentioned individual things, but here there's manipulation to highest level. Then, likewise, uh, eavesdropping on conversations that's common nowadays. Somebody records somebody's conversation without anybody knowing, they forwarded it, etc. Somebody took a post and a picture of somebody without their permission and they forwarded it. It's khiyana. And then, woman saw a surat and picture making as well so in one way today we have seen through social media and through different platforms all of this has, has, has come in vogue and it has become common so uh, to such an extent the way I explained Riwayat right, Abu Dawood that do not seek the false of people why if Allah seeks the person's faults then he'll be embarrassed he'll be disgraced and he will be exposed even in his own home so this is an important warning from Shariat as well so privacy is very important we need to take steps to protect ourselves home privacy so we said the home network we have to get an expert in and they will advise you based on the different structures, systems that you have in your home to, to, to prevent any breach. Likewise, very important, the apps that you download. So some apps have no encryption, some have uh, encryption but not end-to-end, -end, and some have encryption with uh, from end-to-end. -end. So, um, as mentioned previously, the OTR apps that are off the record messaging so this is a higher standard end-to-end -end encryption protocol which in in your chats your text etc is, is is preserved and protected so that's one important thing and then pfs which is perfect forward secrecy so each session a a, a randomly generated key is designed which cannot be breached in the future for somebody to compromise and access that information. So many apps like that we mentioned uh, Signal from Open Whisper Systems and as Chat Secure, which uh, it's, uh, has a facility called Certificate Pinning. So this gives you the proof of identity certificate. Likewise, um, when uh, the, the servers are linked to the app, then the certificate which is unique to your device is compared to the certificate uh, and uh, if it matches it will synchronize if not it will terminate and uh, also encryption in the conversation logs on the device that also so many apps don't encrypt conversations then uh, there are many other apps as well which we could do research and find out, but it's very important which, which apps to use. The commercial ones uh, has not been vetted, so we wouldn't advise to go with that as well. 
then uh, the most common app nowadays which is WhatsApp uh, already in 2014 um, messages between the man in the middle attack MITM um, that was compromised WhatsApp so other apps also if you're gonna start archiving it or uh, data at rest which normally in the WhatsApp you have a backup so you have to back it up on, on, on Google Drive. Once you back it up, then uh, you breached all that information can be accessed as well. The other apps that are in the market as well, which people are using for communication, whether it's Skype, whether it's uh, AIM, etc. They store your messages. It is not encrypted. And uh, a lot of the information is read and it's used for their own purposes as well. So the question is, even if they archive it, how long is it stored? Well, uh, according to privacy policy, if you look at uh, Skype, they say, and I quote verbatim, Skype will retain your information for as long as is necessary to fulfill any of the purposes defined in Article 2 or comply with applicable legislation, regulatory requests and relevant orders from competent courts. So again, um, your information is not secure and uh, it is in a cloud and anybody can access it. Likewise, part of home security is the room that you are in as well. So we've explained the uh, fracking procedure and how from outside people can uh, access it. So the windows in front of you, that's a compromise. Likewise, if thieves, anybody needs to get in and out without you knowing, once your laptop is gone, there's a lot of information and a lot of People's reputations were lost, a lot of businesses crashed, a lot of harms on that one piece of metal. Likewise, your phone as well. So, many researchers put steel plates in front of their doors so they not, cannot crack it. Likewise, you have the roller shutter system, which is easier. So, a person just in their secure area, if there is windows, then uh, if it's in a basement and there's only one door and no windows, then obviously needs to be secured but uh, something that will block the signals from them intercepting your laptops the screens and uh, accessing information likewise the place your home etc when we get to the details of, 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 of securing premises likewise do not trust your neighbors somebody was going for holiday so they were planning two weeks to go they left and the keys were with the neighbor and said even any problems etc every day just go check to this here this is an alarm so they came back many months pass one night they came home from work and they found the computer on then he went uh, the owner of the house went into the history and he found a lot of pornography etc so there was no sign of breaking the house was secure no money was stolen so the only person suspect was the neighbor so they threatened him and said if he doesn't confess they'll get him arrested so he confessed what he did was he made copies of the key then when they had gone to work he used to go into the house and make himself at home and they actually found cameras hidden cameras connected to their house and to the neighbor where he was eavesdropping on their privacy so don't trust anybody what whatever illa mashallah but uh, so you've got your information which is important back it up have your and we've gone through some details of that in the past and then your systems that are there, you need to you need to make sure it is protected and, and, and don't just stick to one device too long. 
uh, don't keep all the information if you have to dispose of it even if you delete it from your computers and your phones it's not deleted it's accessible so uh, you get shredders you get different ways of disposing of that information but we, 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 we need to learn all these things and make sure you don't get caught and then uh, even your home your privacy there's a lot of trackers so for example Facebook is one of the most sticky of all social media platforms um, yeah so as the people of Iman we should be vigilant we should prepare we should do the amal that needs to be done and uh, we should not get caught by all these mechanisms which are there to destroy us. The Amal for today is to read Salat with Jama'ah. That again, these platforms are there to destroy Salat with Jama'ah, to destroy the mahal of the masjid for people to go to the masjid. And if people are in the masjid, their hearts are still outside the masjid in Facebook, Instagram, in YouTube, etc. Man Musliman, Subhanallah. Whoever desires to meet Allah as a Muslim, Go to the Masjid. Whoever the Adhan is called, be there. Allah Shara Sunal Huda. La has. Uh, presented to you Nabi the ways of guidance and these are the ways of guidance if you have to read in your houses so if you become habitual of reading in your homes then you will leave and abandon the sunnah of your Nabi as soon as you leave the sunnah of your Nabi then you are gone astray so a person who makes wudu and uh, properly goes to the masjid for every step a good deed is recorded, his uh, status is, ranks are raised, sins are wiped out. The Sahabi, the narrator of the race says, wama anha illa munafiqun ma'lumun nifaq. No person would must Salat was the jama'ah in the masjid except a well-known munafiq and hypocrite. To such an extent, وَلَقَدْ كَانَ الرَّجُلُ يُؤْتَى بِهِ يُهَادَى بَيْنَ الرَّجُلَيْنِ A person would be supported between two people. He would be carried to the masjid and placed in the saf so that you don't miss salat with the jama'ah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us to fikum make an amal wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.